Hello Sick and Hello Arthur. And let me just start off by saying what an absolute honour it is to be interviewing one of the nation's most outstanding superhero duos in the comfort of their own home. And it's a pleasure to be interviewed by you. And it's a pleasure to be viewed into. Are you sure that's not a mind-wiping death ray trying to suck out our brains? No, Tick, it's a camera. Oh. Not that it would have much effect on you anyway. What was that, chum? Oh, nothing. Let's get this interview started, shall we? Yes, let us open our crime-fighting minds and may they rummage deeply on the crime-filled knowledge within. Just make sure you put back everything the way you found it, right guys? First question, please. Okay, when did you first make the decision to become superheroes? Well, I was an accountant for five years, but, you know, I wanted more from my life. I wanted my life to mean more. So I quit my job, bought this suit, and I embraced the life of crime fighting. And you became Bunny Man. A moth. Is it important whether Arthur is a bunny or a moth? Does it even matter? Does it even anti-matter? That doesn't even make any sense. Exactly. Okay. And what about you, Tick? When did you decide to dom the tights? Well, I came into this world, the Tick. I'll spend every crime-fighting day, the Tick. And no doubt one day I will go into that wild blue yonder. Still, the Tick. Tick doesn't really have much memory of his early life. Oh, I see. And how did the two of you meet? One dark night I was on one of my nightly patrols patrolling the rooftops of this fair city when I heard the all too familiar cry of a lady in distress. Turned out it was actually Arthur. Anyway, after I jumped down it turned out that he was taking on six bad boys in big black balaclavas. Well, after Lady Justice has had a fair share of criminal crime-fighting pie, me and Arthur met, and we've become bosom buddies ever since. It's a dream come true. Arthur, are you sure that's not some sort of mind-wiping death ray trying to suck our brains out of our nostrils? No, Tick. It's a camera. I've already told you that. Oh, right. By the way, John, I wanted to tell you this. There's a, there's a strange noise coming from the kitchen area, You're like... Something evil trying to force its way into our world. Yeah, that's the washing machine that I borrowed from my sister. Because you threw my last one out the window when you thought it was a bomb, remember? Oh yeah, that was embarrassing for everyone concerned. Yeah, especially the old lady that it landed on. She be nobody. So, do you guys have any superpowers? Define the word superpowers. Well, can you fly? No. Shoot lasers from your eyes? Nada. Well, could you destroy the Earth in an atomic ball of fire? Gee, God, I hope not. That's where I keep all my stuff. I, I can fly when I've got my wings on. We are mighty. We're gazing into the eye of terror and not blinking once. We're pulling on the nipples of crime with the tweezers of justice. We're... I'm going to the toilet. We're milking the cow of justice by pulling on the terrorizing teats of terror. And we'll keep pulling and keep pulling until all the great goodly whiteness of justice comes pouring into our buckets of crime-fighting goodness. Hold steady, villain, and prepare to meet your end at the hands of the big blue bug of justice! about an evil monster that it was about to meet oh, its no. end. Wash machine! Don't check! 